Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us. This is Rick Geiler with Silverside Insurance here in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona. I have on the line with me Michael Fromm, the product manager at Sagicor Life. And I'm going to turn it over to him here in a little bit so he can give his presentation. But I'm going to touch on a couple things first, so if you'll indulge me. And uh, I'm going to move pretty quick here. Uh, don't, want to, don't want to run long today, but I do want to show you a few things that you can use here in the near future. So for starters, this is not one of the themes of today's webinar, but I want to talk about we're coming up on the end of the year. And here's been a really hot product for Sagicor this year. It's an indexed annuity. They call it their Sage Advantage Bonus. And if you have some folks who still need to do some uh, IRA work or if you need to get something in by the end of the year, or basically if you have somebody with some sleepy money that wants to get a better rate than what they're seeing on their CD or whatever fixed instrument they're in, but they don't want to tie it up, they like liquidity, uh, here's an indexed annuity with a lot of upside, a lot of guarantees, and a lot of liquidity. We can run illustrations on this. This is the company software. I've skipped straight to the uh, demo page here on this because I don't want to spend a whole lot of time, but I want everybody to be aware. The Sage Advantage Bonus FIA. It's a nine-year chassis, 5% vested bonus. And what's made this really popular is it has a fairly uh, forgiving surrender schedule, 8% for the first few years, has the vested bonus, and it has an overall 2% guarantee. So what that does on this product, if you'll take a look down on this far right column, guaranteed minimum surrender value, you can see that there's a lot of liquidity in this product. And at some point, if, if we get a little bit more time or if you ask us to run an illustration for you, you'll see that the upside of this product is as strong as pretty much any indexed annuity out there. And the guaranteed walk away value and the embedded guarantees are very strong in this. So if you need some IRA work done before the end of the year, or if you just have somebody looking for some good uh, liquidity and guarantees, don't forget about that product. Uh, the one thing to keep in mind, Sagicor has gotten an overwhelming amount of premium in this this year. They wanted to keep it on the market, so they have capped premium at $100,000 per Social Security number. But this issues all the way to 85 with all the features, the premium bonus, the guarantees, everything, all the way to age 85. So that's something strong out there you're not going to want to forget about. I'm going to turn this over to Michael. He's going to talk about a few things. Largely the new Sagicor Simplified Issue Program, which is for their term, their no lapse UL, and then their continuous pay traditional whole life. But, and he's not going to be able to tell you a whole lot because he doesn't show market-based pricing. I'm an independent marketer, so I do. So I ran these quotes this morning. This is a term quote on a male born in January 1970, just off the cuff. And the important thing here I want to point out, Sagicor, you see it right there at the top of a, of a rate search with all the names in the term uh, industry. And this one, as opposed to anything else you're seeing on this page, is simplified issue. And what that means is there will be no physical exam. They're going to write this off of the application and a phone interview. You're not, there's not going to be any uh, scales, no uh, fluid draws, no blood pressure tests, no exam of any kind. So you're not giving up any rates and features here with this Sagicor product by uh, getting uh, a simplified issue with no exam. So this is a term quote. Um, you, could, you could run... Uh, this goes up to 400,000, but Michael will give you those details. Most scenarios you're going to run, in fact, all scenarios you're going to run, you're going to see Sagicor right up there price-wise at the top of the competition. And here, this is a no-lapse UL quote. Uh, I used the same guy, uh, male, 44, born in January 1970, 150,000 on a no-lapse UL. And again, the pricing is right in there 
with the most competitive uh, in the business. So with that, I, Michael is going to let me chime in a little bit here later when he's talking about the single premium whole life. I got a little bit more color I can add to that, but right now I'm going to let him get started. And this is Michael from. I didn't have enough room on the uh, on the cover uh, for this webinar to put all his credentials. He's been around a long time. He knows a lot about the business, and he is going to give us the. Uh, the details on the SAGCOR simplified issue program, and then he's going to touch on the uh, on the whole life. So, uh, Michael, are you ready to get started here? I am. Thanks, Rick. Uh, I just want to mention Rick Eiler and Silverside are longtime friends with SAGCOR. Uh, we've done business with Rick for years and years, and I like to say that he's one of the best guys that I know in the entire industry on here. So, if you're going to partner up with somebody, I mean, I couldn't recommend a better guy in that respect. Well, thank um, you. Rick's going to go ahead and give you a little more detail like he's able to where I can't, like the pricing and such. So I'm going to turn it over to him in the middle of the presentation when we talk about the fixed index single premium whole life. Uh, we're also talking about our 10, 15, and 20-year level term insurance and our no-lapse guarantee universal life that's guaranteed to age 120. First thing I'd like to do is just give you an idea of who Sagicor is. Sagicor has been around since 1840. Well, the thing is, we were established out in Barbados, in the Caribbean, and we're well known out there when we say operations in 22 countries. Well, that all that's um, the Caribbean and a lot of other countries around there. In the U.S., we came out here, uh, we bought a company called American Founders Life back in 2005. We're licensed, currently offering products in 44 states plus District of Columbia. Our rating is excellent by AM Best, A minus. I'd like to mention that we're currently do, do not have products for sale in Alaska, Connecticut, Maine, New Hampshire, New York, and Vermont. But we do offer annuity and life insurance products. Uh, give you a little idea about Sagicor. Uh, our name actually came about a combination of two words, sage meaning wise and core meaning heart. So that's where our corporate philosophy, wisdom with heart comes from. And our corporate tagline is wise financial for thinking. I put our vision statement in there, become a great company committed to enhancing the lives of people in the communities in which we operate. This goes back to 1840, where we actually go ahead and we, um, we have corporate sponsored charitable events that we do to help the community across the nation. Now in doing business at SagCorp, we have a producer portal, offers forms, status reports, training modules, we also have a dedicated producer resource center. This is flesh, flesh and blood individuals. These experts can help you out. If you have any questions, all you have to do is call our toll-free number. You also have full access to our underwriters if you have questions. And we offer simplified issue as well as full underwriting. Uh, electronic submission is offered for our term, no lapse UL, and whole life products. And commissions are paid daily on settled business. Now, the first product I'd like to mention is unique. There's not another one in the industry. This is a fixed index, single premium, whole life product where you catch other companies out there that may use a um, UL chassis or IUL chassis. This has the guarantees of whole life that's on it, but at a fixed index chassis. You see issue ages are 45 to 85. Minimum premium is only $5,000 and Technically, there's no maximum premium. Just over a, a half million dollars requires home office approval. Two risk classes, standard non-tobacco and standard tobacco. It's a non-med point of sale. So that means that you get a dis underwriting decision right then and there with the medical um, tele-interview. And there's a 10% immediate vested bonus that's on this too. So Rick's going to show in a little while here, you put 100000 in, your client sees $110,000 with a guaranteed return of premium from day one. It has a 10-year surrender schedule, similar to that of annuities. Loans are available after the first policy year and also partial withdrawals. And it has an accelerated death benefit rider for terminal condition or chronic illness. Let's take a little closer look at that because this is something a little bit different and unique. 
it does not have a discount factor on this. So with the terminal condition, if you look at it, you can see it is the lesser of $250,000 or an amount equal to the death benefit minus $25,000. That's a lump sum there for you. And the chronic illness, you can see on there, less of $250,000 equal to the death benefit amount minus two fifty, dollars and it will be paid out in 33 equal monthly installments. So this is a pretty rich benefit that's on that single, that we call it the FISPO, Fixed Index Single Premium Whole Life. Now, inside of that product, there's three crediting strategies. The declared rate, which is a fixed rate strategy, you can see the minimum guaranteed interest rates at 2%, the S&P 500, and the Global Advantage Look Back. Now this is a combination of the Russell 2000. Now the S&P 500, as you may know, are large company U.S. stocks. The Russell 2000 are small company U.S. stocks. Euro stock index, as the name implies, is European stocks. And the Hang Seng Index is out of Hong Kong, so you have the Chinese stock market that's on there too. So that's where we say you have three diversified interest crediting strategies. We're not taking that S&P 500 and throwing it inside of this one also. So you could, if you wish, go 50%, 50%, and really have it spread out across the board there for you. Let's take a little bit closer look at that global look back advantage. This is unique, I like to say, in that you have those three different uh, accounts in there, but it goes and looks back at the prior year. So in that regard, 60% of the best performing index is the return you receive. The second best performing index, you receive 40%. And the third, we just throw out the window. So you're going to get the best of the best at a number, the number one is going to get 60% of the return, number two at 40% return. And again, it doesn't matter if you have negative years on here, never have a loss in that regards. Uh, we do have consumer pieces on here that you can leave behind with your uh, clients that do explain this. And this is literally right from one of, one of the pieces on. In other words, you're able to participate in a specified percentage of the actual indices returns without being subject to loss of principal. Makes it easy for your clients to understand. Um, this is another part that's on that brochure, just to get an idea of how the returns are showing. Again, you have the S&P 500, and then you also have this global look back advantage on there. And you can see there's good diversification in that regard. Uh, even in bad years, they're not going to lose money. Now, let's change gears and look at our term insurance product. Now, we like to think we're the premier kings of simplified issue out there. And when I describe how this is, you can see what I mean. On our 10, 15, and 20-year level term insurance, for issue ages 18 to 65, for a 10-year, 15-year, and 20-year non-tobacco, and then issue ages are 18 to 55 for 20-year tobacco. Now, face amounts are, again, 18 to 65, $50,000 all the way up to 399999 for a simplified issue. Now I'll go in a little more detail in a second here just to explain how that simplified issue works. Our five risk classes, we have non-tobacco at preferred, standard, and rated, and tobacco at preferred and standard. Now with our simplified issue process, there's a brief tele-underwriting interview. On average, that's about 15 minutes on there. Um, that's an uh, underwriter that you call at the call center. You may be familiar with this process and then you receive an underwriting decision right there at the point of sale at the completion of that interview. Applications are available by e-app or paper app, and there's a voice signature capability during this simplified issue telephone interview. There's only seven yes or no health questions, and again, with our simplified issue, there's no bodily fluids, no paramed, no APS required. There's no follow-up in that respect. Now, if they're fully underwritten, a little bit different on it, you're going to see that it's 18 to 75 years for our 10-year term except male standard tobacco, and then 18 to 65 for 10-year term male standard tobacco. Now, the reason why we pull male standard tobacco out there is try to get you the best prices available 
without having to go ahead and have something tainted. So the male standard tobacco, we pulled it out there. We reduced the issue H to, instead of 75 to 65. So we used um, common sense in that regards to get you better pricing, as Rick showed previously. 18 to 70 for our 15-year uh, term, 18 to 65 for non-tobacco 20-year term, and 18 to 55 for tobacco 20-year term. Now the face amounts 18 to 65 begin at $400,000. Remember, our simplified issue at 18 to 65 was 50,000 to 399,999, and full underwriting for issue ages 66 to 75, beginning at $50,000. Underwriting available both for non-tobacco and tobacco at preferred, standard, and substandard ratings all the way from a table one through table eight. Now the big thing with our simplified issue is that with that you receive not just a regular old rated T4, but you also have a preferred and a standard that's available for your clients, like you do with the fully underwritten product. On here you also have an accelerated death benefit rider. With this, it is the lesser of 50% of the death benefit or $300,000. Optional riders are accidental death benefit rider, children term rider available with our fully underwritten applications, and a waiver of premium rider. Our 10, 15, 20 year level term product has a guaranteed level premiums for the entire term. It's not one of those that only in the first five years of a 10, 15, or 20 year product they're guaranteed and then premiums can go up. They are guaranteed for the entire term of 10, 15, or 20 year term. Level death benefit to age 95, convertible to age 70, and additional thing that we uh, option that we offer here. Well, it's it's built baked into here. It's not options. It's, it's part of the policy is the term conversion credits. These are available for years two through five of the policy, and you can see, for example, in year two of conversion, 100% of the previous 12 months base annualized term insurance premiums can be applied to a new SAGICOR permanent policy. So what do we mean by base annualized premiums? Well, it's not with any waiver or waiver of premium or air riders on it. It's just a base premium amount. But for the last 12 months, they can take that and put a jump started right into the cash value. We also have our no lapse universal life insurance. We offer that in juvenile express issue, means that there's no telephone interview. You can see for 15 days to 17 years, there's only nine yes or no health questions. And again, like I mentioned, no phone interview, no APS or paramed, and no bodily fluid. Our simplified issue, on our no lapse UL, it's 25,000 to 249,999. Issue age is 18 to 65. Again, just a brief telephone interview and the risk classes just like we had with the term insurance, preferred and standard non-tobacco along with rated, and then preferred and standard for tobacco. Fully underwritten, 25000 to just shy of a quarter million for ages 66 to 85, and then 250000 for 18 to 85. And again, same underwriting classes as our term insurance. Our no lapse UL also has at no additional cost Accelerated Benefit Insurance Rider. This one's a little bit different. It's the lesser of 25% of the death benefit amount or $400,000. Again, this is for terminal condition or for chronic illness. Again, we have the same optional riders on there for you. Accelerated Death Benefit Rider, Children's Term Rider, available for fully underwritten applications only, and Waiver of Premium Rider. Now, one of the things that we have on a niche market, we compare our no lapse guaranteed universal life insurance out there. And I've been told that there's a lot of producers who are looking to cover um, funeral expenses, cremation expenses, and such like that. So we're looking for a small death benefit face amounts. So as a comparison, we put together this for you as a uh, female non-tobacco monthly premiums for a $25,000 death benefit. Now, the other companies out there we're compare about that, the, uh, these are some big names and some of the top, best premiums out there 
for what they call the final expense market on whole life products. They have a table four rating on there. If you look at it, their heightened uh, weight chart, their build chart. Ours in that regard, so we don't. We have preferred, standard, and then that rated category. Now, <laughs> you do a premium comparison on this, you're going to see that it is just substantially less. Even the rated on there at $48.30 is going to be substantially less than what the competitors are in that regard. And on top of that, Sagicor also has an accelerated death benefit insurance rider. If you recall, I just mentioned for terminal conditional, condition or chronic illness. So if you have Hank and Mabel, they're living Social Security check, Social Security check, and they need something to pay their funeral costs, this is a beautiful policy. And if they have a terminal condition or chronic illness, they can actually go ahead and take part of that death benefit and accelerate and have as a living benefit to cover those costs that they may not be able to afford. This is a beautiful product for Americans out there that don't have a whole heck of a lot of money and also it's great for anybody else that is looking to go ahead and pass on wealth accumulation and our higher death benefit amounts. Remember this product goes from 25000 all the way up to infinity and beyond on there with home office approval. Um, one of the things I also mention, uh, I'd like to mention is that we do have some sales um, marketing pieces for you. And one of them that we have is called What Do You Have to Lose? This takes a look at it, and, and it's a worksheet. And it looks at Social Security monthly loss of income. And again, you know, that same scenario, you're sitting across the kitchen table from Hank and Mabel, and they know that the first spouse to die, the surviving spouse is going to lose the lower of the two Social Security amounts. Additionally, Hank may have a pension. When he dies, will it die with him, or will it possibly reduce at 50% of what that monthly amount was? And then also, if they have money that they're saying, well, we have money sitting in the bank account, well, are you drawing interest off of it? And that's your emergency fund, I take it. You're going to lose that money too? So we help you out in that regard. And we have, this is just an excerpt of the worksheet, but it actually goes ahead and calculates this out what they currently have, what if the wife's still the surviving spouse, and what if the husband is. And then it has that monthly loss of income. And on the flip side, has a very easy mathematical calculation that just based off of these numbers, and then it ends up with the needed death benefit amount. And this is math that you did right along with Hank and Mabel, so it's undisputed on there. Their, their numbers, their figures in that regard. And it fills the exact need for them. And in that regards, Rick, I'm going to turn it back over to you, if, if that's all right, and have you cover a few other things. Yeah, sure. Hey, thanks, uh, Michael. Uh, a lot of good information there. And what we'll do here is I'm going to skip back. I think uh, it takes a second to get my screen back up. I was going to color up that uh, single premium life. You put it. Uh, you showed us the bullet points, and uh, to really put that into perspective for folks, what they can look at is this is an illustration just off the cuff, for example, a female 65 with $100,000. Okay. What does she get? Well, I'm skipping. This is the chronic illness page of the illustration. I'm not going to pan through the whole illustration because it's, it's typical of a life insurance application, quite a few pages. So if you get one of these from us, uh, for one of your clients, if you ask us to run one or if you go on the website and run one yourself, make sure you pan all the way down towards the end. This is going to be page about 17. Uh, it's going to depend a little bit on exactly what state you're in and what the disclosures are. But this is going to be the chronic illness supplemental, which looks very similar to uh, the main number illustration. But what this has is it has the column here, monthly chronic illness benefits. So this is really the power of this product. As Michael mentioned, there's a lot of single premium lifes out there. There's really not anything on a whole life chassis such as this. A lot of them are on ULs with some guaranteed uh, cash value built into a UL. But what this one does, and if you go to, if you go to seminars on either UL planning for income, or in this case maybe for illness, uh, you see a lot of people showing you the current side. They'll show you 
what you're going to get if uh, their market assumptions. Hey, we have an S&P point-to-point capped in double digits, and we think you're going to get 9% a year. And if so, here's how your numbers are going to look. And that's all well and good, but the fact of the matter here is in a single, in a senior product, we're asking a uh, female age 65 to give us $100,000 for this product. Well, she, maybe she doesn't have a lot of extra $100,000 that she can afford to have uh, something happen, have a, have a life policy lapse on her. So what we like to show on this product is the guaranteed stuff. This is going to be worst case scenario. This is if the index strategies don't pan out for her at all. And if for whatever reason, uh, Sagicor, uh, they uh, raised all their fees and charges and all their uh, everything in the contract went worst case scenario. Maximum fees and charges and zero crediting. As you can see, this is still offering uh, the face amount, $186,000 death benefit. And what that's going to drive is a $4889 monthly chronic illness benefit. She triggers the illness benefit. She gets $4889. 89 in cash for up to 33 months. This is a cash benefit. This isn't a nursing home benefit. This is something that can help keep her out of the nursing home. If she has $4,800 in cash to spend for 33 months, she can have a family member help. She can have you know whatever services she needs to take care of herself. So that's what we like to call this. This is not a nursing home benefit. This is a anti-nursing home benefit or keep you out of the nursing home benefit. And the next question compared to some of the other single premium lives, and there are some other good ones out there, and from time to time you'll see uh, Silverside promoting some of them, but this Sagicor one is one of our favorites because this illness benefit is the strongest you're going to find in this class of product. And I'm going to show you this is the claim form. This is how hard it is for her to trigger that 4889. It's one page she fills out, she checks two of the boxes and signs it. She takes page two, her doctor, what date was uh, she examined, briefly describe what the situation is, check two of the boxes, sign it. The other two pages of this form, two pages of this form are simply uh, just fraud disclosures. So, the single premium life from SagCorp is going to have the strongest illness benefit you're going to find anywhere. Uh, go ahead and have us uh, run a scenario for you, run an illustration. Uh, we can go over the details with you, or you can go on the website and run them yourself. It's really not that tricky. And as far as the, uh, I'm going to move along here, uh, try to get things wrapped up. <laughs> One other thing I did want to show everybody. As far as the, the, the term and the no lapse, this is specifically a term kit. This comes from SagCore and it has links. If you can see here, if you hover your cursor over here, you're going to get all the latest information, the rate sheets, the product guides, the brochures. So if you don't have this, make sure you either go on the website, you can find it there, or we can forward this to you. It looks like Sometimes we send this to folks and they say, well, I, I just get, it was just one page. There wasn't anything to it. Well, actually, it's a link where you download the PDF so you'll get the latest version. And one thing on here that everybody's going to want to know, okay, how do I, I want to write a term, I want to write a no lapse, I, I want to write a single pay life. And actually on the single pay life, it's called the point of sale guide for the term and the no lapse, it's called the simplified issue. They're very similar, but what it's going to do, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, it's going to give you the process. How do, who do I call to do the phone interview? Uh, a few things like that. And you're going to see specifics on what kind of health issues are going to be treated, uh, what kind of way. You're going to see a build chart. Uh, all those things. So make sure you have the term kit and the two underwriting guides. The simplified issue, if you're going to write term or no lapse, and the point of sale underwriting guide if you if you want to do the single premium life. So I know we've dumped a lot of information on you here, so I'm going to get this wrapped up. Uh, 
A lot of this is going to be available on our website. In fact, on our website, you're going to be able to find a link to uh, a webinar on the actual process. How do I go? How do I go online, and how do I fill out an electronic app? Uh, what are the things I need to do there? That's all going to be on a uh, on a webinar. You can find it easily on our website. If you have, for whatever reason, if you have trouble, go ahead and give us a buzz. We can forward you the link. It's it's not as difficult as it sounds, and when you can see it in black and white, uh, you'll be fine. So with that, I'm going to say happy holidays to everybody. I'm going to thank Michael for his work as always, giving us all that detail. And I'm going to go ahead to, and invite you guys to either give us a call, uh, email us, or go on to our website. You're going to be able to find some resources there as it pertains to all this. So thanks for being with us today, and happy holidays, everybody.